how about doing something creative for this Halloween like this spider web shaped nail? Continue watching and find out how to do it. I prepped the natural nail and I don't have stiletto forms at the moment, that's why I took three NSI platinum forms and stick them together. Also I folded them in the center, as you can see first we have a triangle, then it's folded. Also I used pencil to draw some spider web wings, so it will be easier for me to apply product. Then I applied dehydrator and non-acid attract primer and start my application. I'm using NSI Attraction Rose Blush Powder and for this shape I think the best solution is to create nail bed which is pointed, like in a triangle shape, because spider webs they usually have sharp corners and it will just make the shape look better. So if you are going to create this shape for a client or for yourself and you plan to wear these nails for a while, then consider doing a high apex. If your goal is to make this shape just to take pictures or just for a party for one day, then I recommend to do them thinner as you will spend less time, effort and product and it will be so much easier to take them off. Now I'm taking clear powder and start creating the spider web. First I work only on one side and it is really up to you how many curves would you like to make. You can make only two or three or you can make ten, it really depends on your fantasy and on how long the nails will be with your client. So it's really easier if you first put some points or just draw the line with a pencil because it's really tricky doing the same shape on the other side as you won't be able to see them at the moment. So when you have this pattern it will be easier to follow it. And I start adding the acrylic beads. I decided to make it with a clear because I want to make this look that the spider web is actually clear, that we have this black net and you can actually see through it. So I continue working and I try to do my best with the brush. As you know, I really prefer working with a brush rather than with a file or a nail drill. So I always try to do my best with the application so I will spend less time filing it. Also you need to add some product on the top as if it will be too thin it can easily break when we will remove the form. Then I'm making a sharp pointed free edge because the spider webs they usually are pointed at some of the sections so I decided to finish it like this and also do not forget to cap the free edge encapsulate it with acrylic the same way we do with stilettos. Also it's okay if you apply some clear acrylic right on top of our cover pink as we're not going to do any color smile line here. If you notice that one part is not symmetrical with the other one, don't worry, just take some additional product, add it and stretch and we can always file it off later. Check the surface of the nail from all views and when you're happy with the application, then we need to wait a little bit, you don't really need to pinch this shape, this is how it looks from the side. And once it's set, it is time to take off the form, which is tricky if you have few forms stick together, but at some point I finally did it and then we start filing. So for these extreme shapes, the best and the easiest way is to file it with a nail drill. So I start filing the surface first to make it completely smooth and even. Do not forget to hold the client's nail and finger really tight so it will not vibrate. And then we are filing the shape underneath and this is how we will create symmetrical and perfect curves on both sides. So if some of the curve is different from the other side now, you can fix it and also it's up to you whether to make them more curved, whether to make them sharp. and. This is how you can fix it at the moment and once you see that the one side is too thick, then you can turn the nail around 
and fix this thickness. Our goal is to have the same thickness on both sides. Once you achieved it, then you can work on the surface. I file the cuticle area with 180 file, take off the dust and then it's time to do the design. I am using black gel paint, which is Go Color by NSI, and first I will outline the smile line. I will simply do one line and the other one. Then I will connect the center of the smile line with the corners of our spider webs and also I will make them a little wider as they end on the sides. Starting from the center I go right to this side and as we already have both sides symmetrical you don't have to worry about the perfectly symmetrical lines and actually even if you do them not very symmetrical it's fine because it only seems that spider webs are perfectly symmetrical in the real life but honestly they are not I actually paid attention once I've seen one so I continue connecting the lines and it's up to you whether you want to make them very often or more seldom and once we are done with the big lines now it's time to do the sections so we are doing some kind of C's we are first doing the first row and do not forget to turn the nail around and once again it's okay if one side will be a little bit different from the other just stick to the rows and it will be easier for you also i'm making these connections a little thicker i think this is how it looks the best and actually this white part on the edges make it look like this web is actually tied up to a nail like you know when you look on the web and it's actually hanging on the tree or somewhere else and it's also okay if the lines are not extremely thin actually if they're too thin you won't be even able to see it and it won't really look like a spider web so i continue filling the sections of the spider web like in any design you need to stop at some point so stop when you feel like there's too much of the sections then i apply the top coat i'm using no cleanse top coat for gel polishes or you can also use the gel one make sure you cover the entire web including all the sides one side and the other one and then after curing i place a small drop of the gel top coat here and apply a rhinestones then i will cure it and also i will use this glass decorations for the intersections of the spider web so i'm placing the small drops of the no cleanse gel top coat on the intersections and then apply this glass beads i really like how it looks i think it's like the drops of the water and it's not too shiny as let's say rhinestones and then I fill all the intersections with those glass beads and this is the result. This is how it looks from the different angles and after filing this is the best way of cleaning the dust from the underside. It's really tricky. Let me know guys what do you think? Have you ever tried to do extreme shape and would you like to try one? I personally think this is something not banal for Halloween and I really enjoy doing this shape and I really hope that some of my clients would like to have some for their Halloween. Thanks so much for watching, if you are new here consider subscribing as on my channel I post nail art tutorials, tips and tricks every week. I'll see you in my next video, bye!